Hi, hello guys. And it's been a while, man. You see, we got some inconsistencies in producing these videos. Uh, it's because of some of us who are waking here. Some of us, maybe we got a lot of issues. We were very busy actually this past weekend, but we really apologize. Uh, <clears throat> we'll try and make sure one day we'll see to it one day that in future everything is in line and properly there are exams some of us some people are writing gcc exams others are engineers here they are not i'm not alone here I'm, i've only been chosen as the face of this channel and so on uh, uh, today today actually we're gonna deal with um, transmission lines Transmission lines, guys. There are a lot of issues. There are a lot, lot, lot of information on transmission lines. And maybe someone would have liked us to treat this other one like that. But someone sent this information on the transmission line. I think it's a... Uh, well, uh, for now, let me not go there. But uh, there are a lot of information. So because of maybe we can't just cover a lot of things at the same time. I'm going to see to it that maybe while dealing with this, I cover with uh, another information, maybe the, from the mechanical point. This is from the electrical point of view, but I will also go and throw some mechanical uh, 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 design on transmission lines and so on. Now, uh, a transmission line, a transmission line normally it has a, a, a resistance and reactance. When I talk of reactants, I talk of the capacitive reactants and the inductive react the reactants. And normally, resistance actually is, is it is actually due to the the type of uh, uh, material from which uh, uh, the conductor is made. And then um, inductance mainly is due to the fact that uh, when a conductor carrying current it is actually surrounded by the magnetic lines of force and then the capacitance the capacitance may be may, may, mainly is due to the fact that uh, a conductor which is actually above the ground uh, the space between between that line and the ground it is actually it actually forms a dielectric medium so mainly the it is only along that line uh, uh, where a capac the capacitance of a transmission line is made. Uh, before we continue with uh, this calculation, of course, I want to make you just for an intro. If you've got a substation, let's say for argument's sake, it, uh, the supply system consists of three principal parts. parts. It consists of the substation, say for instance, maybe this is are the lines and then say for instance uh, I'm just making an example guys uh, let's say for instance for argument's sake this is our transmission line and then and then now this power station which is normally situated at a favorable or considerable distance away from the consumers. Consumers are people who use electricity. Uh, it normally produced the elect electricity or electric power. And then, and then this electric power which is produced here, it is transmitted over a long distance by means of transmission lines. But not only just, it depends maybe on the type of a conductor it has been chosen think about it where maybe you where maybe you work for oh, a private company like us we are from i won't choose companies by names uh, where you will only be given the specifications and say hey escom has chosen has um uh, 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 order this type of uh, a transformer or this type of one. Here are the specifications. Here are the machinery. We want this transformer within six weeks. What do you want to do? So basically those those are the type. You have to check maybe uh, if you are to use copper. Why copper? For instance, if you are to use aluminium, why aluminium? But most, in, in our country, normally we prefer aluminium because it's cheap and lighter than copper. Copper is expensive and maybe 
uh, people will steal it because it has a high scrap value and so on and uh, uh, copper is true it is an ideal material for the transmission owing to its um, high uh, tensile strength and it also has a high conductivity but it has uh, if it is compared to aluminium and aluminium has an edge because it is cheap it is light uh, but uh, because of its lightness sometimes its conductor has to be large how large normally from the engineering point of view they say it has to be, it uh, uh, it has to be multiplied by 1.26 than the conductor of copper uh, the, the the cross sectional area of copper and for that reason but remember at the same time it brings a certain disadvantage of uh, uh, wind load it will swing a lot because now it's large so what what does that mean these people brings in say maybe a high towers with high cross arms and so there are a lot of things guys but uh, that that's the information that will we will see to it whether we can bring it into play as we continue as we continue but yeah a 500 kva that's the rating 2.2 kilovolts three-phase plant draws 400 kilowatts at a legging power factor you are not giving that legging power factor of course we will calculate it uh, and it is two kilometer long that transmission line is two kilometer long what does that mean it is a short line it is a, a, a short line uh, a transmission line Possibly, I'm just assuming, maybe you may find that uh, it is uh, the, the poles, the, 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 the wooden poles. And there are, why, why wooden poles? Wooden poles normally are used for short lines uh, for a voltage less than what? Less than uh, 11,000 kilovolt or maybe a concrete uh, wooden a uh, 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 concrete reinforced poles the ones that you see here around us and so on but normally the wooden poles you'll find them in rural areas because for, due to some uh, economical proposition and so on so here in towns normally we use the concrete that ones the ones there on the street there as as uh, as, 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 you, as, you, as you normally saw as you come in. Those are called the concrete reinforced poles and are normally used in cities. So basically, because of this one, it's a short pole. It's a short pole, meaning we use, the, they, are, they are, they can only carry, uh, they can only allow a span of 50 meters between the poles so that the sack should be at a particular uh, level with reference to the ground but it's a discussion for another day i was just trying to bring something so uh, at a legging power factor and it's two kilometer long from a substation can someone please light the light there i thought maybe it would be too uh, it's, 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 it's a little bit dark in here i don't know why probably it might be fine now isn't it just check for me there oh it's fine okay now uh, if the line resistance and inductance, inductance L, L, are 0,1 ohm and 0,3 ohm per kilometer respectively, this little bit I just want to, wanted to, to show, and induct, inductance is measured in Henry, the reactance is measured in ohms. The fact that you are given 0 0,3 ohms here, it stands to reason that uh, this, it is reactance. It is the reactance. It can't be an inductance because you are given 0 0,3 ohm. If it was inductance, inductance, you were supposed to have been given 0 0,3 Henry. I just wanted to, to outline. This is a question from someone. So, uh, they ask you to calculate the sending end voltage. The sending end voltage. 
What does this mean? This 2.2 kilovolt, it means it is the receiving, it is the voltage on the name, it is the receiving end voltage, it's given. This is the sending end voltage and it has to be calculated. You also have to calculate it. The performance of that transmission line, the percentage regulation of that line, and then the transmission efficiency, the performance, of course, and then here is the voltage regulation. Sorry, now I normally do the sketch. This is because of this two kilometer, it is a short line. Let's see, this is our load. This is our supply voltage, which is the sending end. end. And then here, we're going to have our receiving end. There is no divergence, uh, there is no gap or what. Meaning here, it is the receiving current, it is the sending current. The fact that this current goes through pass through the resistance and inductance into the load. It means this IS, the sending end current, is equal to the receiving end current. And then, here you are given what? You are given the rating of 500 kVA. You are given that. And then where is that question, baby, so that we can see whether we miss something? I don't know whether I okay okay here it is here it is here it is they say the sending end okay 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 let's check uh, apparently this information is short uh, oh okay no it's not short it's given there okay you are also given the power there the power the power is equal to 400 kilowatts and then at a lagging power factor the fact that look we are on the load side on the load side power is equal to the apparent power multiplied by cos theta so we can calculate cos theta there cos theta which is the power factor is equal to what is equal to 400 over 500 and it's equal to what this cancels that this cancels that what is 4 over 5 4 divided by 8 or oh, 4 4 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0,8 lagging of course why you are told that that power factor is lagging it's lagging this is the information on the load side you are requested to calculate the sending end voltage. But now, let me draw the vector diagram so that you can see or maybe uh, uh, derive the formula for the sending end. So for this, from this, it's going to be VR and then this is 90 degrees, guys. This, it should be 90 degrees. And then this one is your Vs. And then if you do this, you're going to get Z there. If you get Z, this is IR. IR multiplied by R. And then you've got IS multiplied by R. What does that mean? It means Vs, the sending end voltage, is equal to what? Is equal to Vr plus this what do we call this is v drop the voltage drop along the line why there is no voltage drop here because the line is still small but as it grows there is a drop this triangle you remember guys when you were in sap a or standard i can't remember maybe let's say standard one you knew that a voltage drop will form a triangle. That's the, and then the hypotenuse side from the mathematical point of view. Mess is a language of engineering. The hypotenuse side was considered as the impedance. And then this one 
uh, what is what is hypotenuse is a line facing directly 90 degrees and then this one will be ir this one will be not ir rather it should be ix the the, the, the reactants that's my mistake this is xl xl the voltage the voltage drop due to the reactants the voltage drop due to the resistance and they will the summation the, the square on this this size will give you what the hypotenuse which is the impedance so this is the case and then this is vr plus what is this v drop it is the total voltage ir or is it doesn't matter because they are same they are the same from the the sketch multiply by this this is 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 equals to ir but from here to here is theta r from here to there is theta s what does that mean it means it means the sending and current is exactly the same as the receiving and current but there is a phase shift there is a difference in phase shift between the two their angles are not equal that's basically what what i was trying to show you regarding this this gauge there now it is i multiplied by z which is the impedance but the impedance is equal to r plus j x l so this is the formula we're gonna use this is the formula we're gonna use to calculate the sending and voltage which is vr plus v drop v drop is i multiplied by z what is z is that the current we have calculated the power factor of it we are given almost everything we can calculate the current so now let's go I'm gonna delete here guys I don't have space I don't have space I don't have space it's 0 0.8 lagging 0 0.8 lagging right now let's go let's go sending and voltage is equal to VR angle of 0 is given plus the total current multiplied by the impedance but now r plus j xl is equal to what this is you are told that it is two kilometer long but 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 3 ohm per kilometer it means 0 comma 1 you multiply it by 2 to it's 0 0,1 ohms per kilometer so to get rid of this kilometer you have to multiply by kilometer so that it cancels and you are left only with ohms you are left only with ohms so is this and then it's equal to what 0 0,2 and then it is 0 0,3 multiplied by two as well to get rid of kilometers and you are left with 0 0,6 ohm 0 0,6 ohm right right now 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 the impedance is equal to 0 0,2 plus j 0 0,6 this, these are actually complex numbers, but those who know mathematics will tell us more about it. It is zero, it is point 0.2 plus J 0, 0,6 is equal to what? It's equal to 0, 0,63 angle of second function expansion 71,56. Now, guys, I don't want to go deep, deep into basics. Normally, when you add the, the, the complex number with a complex number, it should be actually, uh, this is the rectangular form, and it is when you multiply. But if you use this calculator, the one which I say, maybe a solar form there, and then you know, you just take your calculator to 
RO and you do everything straight. And this is what actually I've done to avoid the long calculations that might confuse me and even get the answers wrong. But basically, this is the impedance. Now, what is current? I'm giving power. Power is equal to root 3 V line I line cos theta. I'm not going to use the S part because it doesn't have cos theta. And remember, I need an angle because I'm going to work with angles downwards. That's why I calculated theta. And because of this, because of theta, I knew I, have, I, I, I know from the onset that I have to use power. So this is 400 10 to the power 3 yes over root 3 multiplied by 2200 which is 2, 2 kilovolts 200 2200 volts multiplied by zero a calculated 0 0.8 of power factor and it's equal to what ir is equal to 400 exponent 3 400 exponent 3 divided by open bracket second function square root 3 multiplied by 2200 multiplied by 0.8 closing brackets answer we've got 131,22 angle of what an angle of 0 0.8 it is the arc cos of 0.8 you get 36,87 meaning it is minus 36.87 degrees ms what does that where does that minus 30 where does that minus come from it shows that that power factor is actually lagging it's lagging if they say a lagging power factor of so much in calculations you show it by means of a minus to show that it's lagging Right, right. So we got how much? We got IR is equal to 131,2 ngl of minus 36.87. I'm just writing it here just in, in case maybe I'm gonna I have to delete and and, 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 and and I have to erase here. Then I know I've got the answer somewhere. So we've got that one, we've got that one. And then what else? What else can we calculate here? Uh, uh, okay, let's say this this this, two, this this receiving end voltage. Normally, where there is current and impedance, we work in phase values. That's why. So we have to convert it to a phase voltage. V phase, or let me say. V, VR is equal to 2200 divided by square root 3. As you will know already that V line is equal to root 3 V phase. So if I am to make V phase subject of the formula, I will divide by square root 3. And it's equal to what? It's equal to 2200, 2200. Divide by second function square root 3. And it's equal to 1270,17. Angle of 0 volts. Now we've got everything. We're going to now calculate the sending and voltage. Or oh, before I delete, guys, let me do this. The sending and voltage is equal to 1201,7 angle of zero degrees plus the current the current 131,22 angle of minus 36,87 plus okay it should be multiply rather sorry multiply by multiply by the impedance what is our impedance it is 0, 0,63 angle of 71 comma five six now 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 it's gonna be twelve oh one comma seven angle of zero plus let's multiply this first it's gonna be one thirty one comma two two angle of minus thirty six comma eight seven multiply by 
0.63 angle of 71,56 answer is equal to 82,67 angle of what angle of second function expansion 34.69 now let's add and get this this in in phase in a phase the sending voltage in phase form is equal to what is equal to 1201.7 angle of zero plus 82.67 angle of 34.69 answer did i it is 1270 Point, point, point five, five. I did it right, correctly. I said twelve, two thousand two hundred divided by second function square root three. Okay, yeah, yes, yes, I'm right. You see, I'm wrong there. I was supposed to write twelve seventy. 1270 there 2200 divided by second function square root 3 this is 1270 guys sorry this it is 1270 comma 1 7 1270 comma 1 7 no, I wrote it wrongly then okay it is 1270.17 angle of zero plus eighty two comma six seven angle of thirty four comma six nine answer it is thirteen thirty eight comma nine seven angle of Angle of what? Second function expansion. Angle of 2,01 degrees volts. This is in phase values. Now let's convert it to line value. We multiply by square root 3. Multiply by second function square root 3. And we get what? We get 2,32 kilovolts. Okay. 2,32 angle of 2,01 kilovolts. That's the line voltage. That's A. That's A. Where is A? That's A. Yes. Now they say the voltage regulation. The voltage, the percentage voltage regulation is equal to what? Vs minus Vr over Vr. And then this is calculated as 2,32 minus 2,2 this one over 2,2 and the answer is equal to what the answer is 2,32 minus 2,2 divide by 2,2 answer multiply by 100 percent this is 5,45 percent that's the that's the that's the percentage voltage regulation. Now, now we have to calculate the transmission efficiency, guys. The transmission efficiency. Let me just delete here. I don't think I'm gonna need information here because I've got the information down there. Or should I? Yes. Let me delete here for now. For now. Well, the transmission efficiency, efficiency of transmission is equal to the output over the input multiplied by 100%. This is the formula used to calculate the efficiency. But now, PO is VR, IR, cos theta R. This, this is the receiving end information over VS, IS, cos theta s 
the sending end information. But remember, from the vector diagram, we saw that IS is equal to IR. Now we've got only VR cos theta over VS cos theta multiply by 100%. That's basically the formula we're going to use. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Hey, guys, I don't have space. I don't have space. In future, I will try and buy you a very nice whiteboard. Very nice neighbor. This one, this one is given as 2200 multiply by the 0 0.8. The cos theta for, for the receiving insight it was calculated as 0 0.8, if you recall. All over, this one is calculated as 2,32 multiply by. I will have to draw that vector diagram so that you could see what's going on. Let, um, I'm, 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 I hope you have jotted this down. It's not, it's not my question. It's yours. It's yours. It's from you guys. Now, um, look. Let me do this. This is 90 degrees. And then this is, sorry. This is the situation. Okay. And then we we saw that uh, IR is equal to IS. But they differ in phase shift. This is theta R. And then this is theta S. Now, now theta R is calculated as 36.87. But what is theta s? Theta s will be 30, 30. Remember, power factor is, the, is, 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 is uh, a power factor. It is the angle between voltage and current. That's the power factor. It's the voltage between angle and current. Now, this one, from here, this is the current. This is the voltage. Now, from here to here, I've got 36. From here... To there is 36 plus this, which is equal to what? This is Vs, remember? So you go to Vs and it is 2,01. This is 2,01. Now, now, theta S plus theta R is equal to 30, is equal to 2,01 plus. 36.87 and it's equal to what? It's equal to 2,01 plus 36.87. Answer. And then you take the cost of that thing. Then you've got 0 0.77 legging. Legging. Now, now, where should we go? We should go back to to calculate the transmission efficiency. We've got 0 0.77. Okay, it doesn't matter. We can start it from scratch. Let's say, let's say transmission, okay, let me put it this way. Transmission efficiency is equal to 2,2 .2 multiplied by 0 0.8 all over 2,32 multiply by 0 0,77 multiply by 100% and it's equal to what? It's equal to 2,2 .2 multiply by 0.8 divide by open brackets 2,32 multiply by 0.77 closing brackets answer multiply by 1,2 98 percent 98,5 percent this is the performance of this transmission line so those who knows better than you and i went all the way and called this chapter uh, the performance of a transmission line my time is up guys i'm told i'm sure I'm, I'm told that is now up by roughly more than five minutes but i will see you in the next video in just subscribe 
learn, share the information, send problems so that we can do. Mwah.